Hey, this is Hunter Abrams at Providence Consulting and Design. Something I want to go over today is an issue that we're seeing nationwide at a lot of the facilities we partner with, and that's your water softening system. What is a water softening system? A lot of people, if you're new to the commercial space or you're new to senior living in a maintenance role, you may not be aware of what that system is. At some point, if your facility has one, in the engineering, design, and construction phase, someone on that build team determined that your local municipalities are delivering hard water. Hard water will eat away at and destroy systems throughout your facility. Whether it be a boiler, a chiller, any of your kitchen equipment, hard water is going to slowly chip away at that and cause unnecessary either repairs or unfortunately total system replacements that can be avoided with proper preventative maintenances. So what we're going to do with you is we're going to set up a TELS task to keep you and remind you to maintain your water softening system. I'm going to show you a photo now of what your water softening salt tank should look like. As you can see in this photo, the salt pellets are all the way to the brim. This is how we want it to look. If you're not sure of how full this should be made, reach out to us. We'll set up a Zoom, Team, FaceTime, anything to see your system and determine how much salt needs to be loaded into that system every month. Next, we're going to look at a facility where, unfortunately, the maintenance director wasn't aware of the water softening system. He wasn't sure how to maintain it, didn't know he needed to be maintaining it. And it's causing undue repairs that are costing in the tens of thousands of dollars because this simple system isn't being maintained. So as you can see in this photo, the salt pellets are so low, it doesn't even, it's not even clear in this photo if there are salt pellets. But what you can see on the side of the barrel is where the salt pellets used to be at one point. So we want to make sure that we're bringing that system back online and then maintaining it properly. In a situation such as this one, it's going to take between 150 and 200 pounds of salt pellets to refill this system. What you're going to need to do once you get your system back up to standard is you're going to need to check on it every month and you're going to need to use your critical thinking skills to determine how much salt do I need to add every month. What you can then do after month three or four and you know how much you're adding is for simplicity's sake, Set up a recurring delivery of salt pellets through either Direct Supply, HD Supply, Amazon, wherever you need to get it from. You can set up a recurring delivery and they will ship you that poundage of salt to your facility. It's a great way to remind you when that delivery comes, you know I've got to go load up my water softener. This is something that can greatly increase the useful life of your systems. Something else that could be happening is if your system is as far offline as the one was we looked at a few minutes ago, is you might load it back up with salt, and then month after month you're going back and checking on it, and you're not, your salt level is not changing. That's an indicator that there's another component of that system failing. That's a bigger issue that we want to assist you in addressing, but that will need to be addressed on an as-needed system-by-system basis. So if month after month, with this TELS recurring task coming up, you're seeing that you don't need to add salt, please reach out to us. Reach out to us so we can set up a call, better understand it, and call the appropriate contractors to get them out to fix this system because if this system isn't functioning, it's damaging, the hard water is damaging other systems in your facility, again, leading to these unneeded repair costs or sometimes system replacements. So remember, preventative maintenances are the best way to keep your systems running effectively and to their full estimated useful life. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. My contact information will be at the end of this video, and you can reach out to anyone on our staff here. We're all here for you. We want to see you succeed. Have a great day.